This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching Kicking It! And this week, we're taking a break from van life, but we are making an extra special upgrade to Custard the Bus. This week, I jet off to Scotland for a whiskey adventure. Yes, Scotland! Little whiskey for breakfast. We give Custard some unreal upgrades. Whoa! This is a game changer for Custard. We patch up a big hole. I guess worse before it gets better, yeah? Uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> And as always, we just have a bloody good time. Look at me graft. I grafted so hard, my ears gone grey. Just another day in the life of King in it. Last winter, we took custard around the Scottish Highlands and had one of the best road trips we've ever had. <laughs> I tried my first proper whiskey, and as my taste buds got more refined, oak, very <laughs> tall oak. <laughs> and I started dressing the part. I started getting a name for myself in the industry. People know me. Ever since my rise to fame, I've made a few whiskey mates. Daryl and Mitch have introduced me to so many good bottles through the lockdown, and they asked me if I fancied coming back up to Scotland to visit Isla and Jura. So I jumped on a plane to taste some of Scotland's finest nectar. It's been a long time since I've been in an airport, but I'm excited for this one. Right, I'm here. I've landed. I can't tell you how weird it feels to get on a plane again. It's been so long. And I think having that taken away from us, we kind of started taking it for granted. So to just get up there and be above the clouds, it's a beautiful thing. Cozy little room, eh? To the pool. Good night, Glasgow. And we're back. 6.15 a.m. Whose idea was this to get up this early? So we've got to go from Glasgow to, I think it's called Kenna Craig, which is like two and a half hours. Then we get on a boat to Isla. How's that uh, How's it going there, you alright? Just before we were about to get on the ferry, Daz had a call and he had a family emergency, so he couldn't make it on the trip. We were gutted. Alright lads, we've made it onto the boat. It's just two of us. And Mitch tells me that this is the smoothest he's ever seen it on the way to Isla. Unbelievable. Paddleboard that, <laughs> right? Mitch likes paddleboarding. It's all he talks about. Unreal. Welcome to Isla. So we're all lunched out. We get the Macri, which was proper posh, decent food. Now we're going to the distilleries, but we've come to Ardbeg as the first one. It's closed. <laughs> Tour's going well, Mitch. Bloody closed, mate. Yeah. Whose Honestly. idea was this? To be fair, I told you, Isla time, mate. <laughs> Everything's on Isla time here. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna have a wander anyway. It's a pretty cool distillery. Um, we just have to imagine we're tasting the whiskey. Good thing about Isla is there's one distillery that's closed, so you just go to the next one. So what is the next one? Lagavu Lagavulin? Lagavulin, yeah. Lagavulin.
<laughs> this guy's danger. He's trying to take a photo of his bottle and he just dropped it off the wall. Luckily it didn't smash. How much was that one? I don't know, 50 odd quid. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing about a Scotsman, we never spill any of our whiskey yeah, no matter what happens. True. Yeah, it was a lucky escape. <laughs> so Lagavulin tasting's fully booked. So uh, we had a little look in the shop. Mitch got himself a bottle. Uh, I think we're going to find a pub. We're going to go to Laphroaig next. Um, see if we can get some samples there. And then maybe just find a pub and just choose our own ones because they'll have a big selection anywhere we go here. Should be, but it's not. Oh. Monday, four o'clock. Twenty to four. Stopped at the co-op to get some ice creams, ice lollies. Calippos! Calippos for the win. Calippos in the house! Because it's so hot today. I asked the girl in the co-op if they sell sun cream and she kind of just laughed at me. It's so rare for them to have sun here that they just don't use our sun cream. But it's literally like, it feels about 30 degrees, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days tomorrow where everyone on Iowa is just bright red. <laughs> yeah. like... And then the day after they'll be white again. <laughs> <laughs> no, blue mate. Blue. blue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a Calippo tour, not a whiskey tour. <laughs> Couldn't get into any distilleries, but we found a beer garden right on the front. Beautiful. We also found sun cream, <laughs> which we haven't put on yet. So I've got my first whiskey. It's a Bumor 12 year old in a Lagavulin glass. And it's the first bottle of sunscreen sold on Isla yeah. since 1984. <laughs> this is going to go down in history, this is. <laughs> It's quite peaty, that, isn't it? But mm -hmm. do a whiskey tour with beer. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza and beer on the beach. This is romantic, isn't it, Mitch? Nice, mate. Look, I'll, I'll get the tablecloth out. <laughs> get the candles going. Looks like a proper table. But then four more in the background. It's pretty cool. Yeah, mate. Shame it's not open, but at least I've tried it now. Munching on a pizza with four more in the background. Have worse Mondays, mate. Mitch and I have just arrived at the accommodation. This place is amazing. We've just met the owner, Margaret. She's so lovely. She's like showing us around, giving us a room tour. We've ordered our breakfast for the morning, but this is the gaff. And this is the view. Let me show you the room. So Mitch is up there. He's actually given me his room because this was his room. And this is it. Super swanky, ginormous bed. There's like a little tea set here with the kettle. So cool. Got the seats here, and then this is the view outside. And then ensuite bathroom. Look at that. Daz, if you're watching this, mate, I wish you could have made it here. Thanks for sorting this out. You're an absolute legend. Also, I forgot the best part. Margaret's husband's left us a little dram of Laphroaig. So we're going to go sit out there now and have a little whiskey. What a day. What a day. Go on, Scotland. The day couldn't get any better. Mitch has just given me a present. He's just launched brand new hip hop inspired whiskey t-shirts. So he's giving me this one, Dram Master Flash. So good. Copper can. So uh, get your t-shirts here. Look at that! Sick! I mean, does it get much better than this, really? So Margaret's uh, whipped us up a breakfast. So I'm going to go and have it now. This place is so cosy. She's so nice as well. Let me show you. So this is the... Uh, the breakfast Margaret set up for just me and Mitch. <laughs> sure if we're gonna be able to eat all this mate, to be honest. Okay. A little fruit salad to start. Morning mate. Nice t-shirt. Thanks man. <laughs> yeah, it's a big day today mate. Yeah. Off awesome. the Jura.
Rick and they cooked it. Like that, like that <laughs> We had a quick 10 minute boat ride across one of the fastest bodies of water ever. Look at the angle of that boat. Ladies of Jura, look how beautiful it is today. I absolutely love Scotland. It's so good to be back. Alright, so we've just met up with Mark from Jura, who sorted us out with a rib boat rise and a load of tasty whiskies. The distillery was actually closed. Uh, we didn't know that. So we're gonna go on a rib boat now. Apparently you can see seals. This island is stunning, it's a completely different vibe to Isla. Going out on this bad boy today. Even though the distillery was closed, Mark gave us a sneak peek of the Jura bar. It was proper cozy. One thing I love about whiskey is that you can have a dram somewhere special, and whenever you drink it again, it transports you straight back to that memory. After a sip of some lovely Jura 10 year old, we drove the length of the island to find somewhere to swim. did we find a deer which was class we also found a beach so we're gonna go for a swim Mitch has been trying to come up with excuses all day why he doesn't have to go in <laughs> the tides out this and that but My now hair's not right <laughs> but now we found this killer spot we've got the beach to ourselves let's test it out mate I don't think it's gonna be too bad yeah right <laughs> if this is my last ever piece to camera been nice knowing everyone. <laughs> Bloody glorious. There's actually a little tea room you can get tea on the beach by there as well. Oh, the sun's coming out, mate. Look at that. <laughs> He's away. Oh, mate, it is cold. <laughs> He's <Whoa>! in. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice of me. Yes, Scotland! We're back on Isla. It's been a class day out. Just went for some lunch in the local restaurant, which was lovely. And uh, we're going to take the drams that we got earlier from Jura back to the B&B. Hopefully we get another nice sunset and uh, enjoy our last night on Isla because we're getting the ferry back tomorrow. But there's plenty more to do in Scotland. I've got, got a few friends to meet and bits to do. I've got the water. But yeah, back to the B&B, &B, couple of Juras and a couple of beers. <laughs> it, I'm on holiday. It's a great day today, mate, wasn't it? <laughs> Banging. So good. Uh, Gear, swim, whiskey. It got seriously burnt. <laughs> Yeah, so our, uh, our suntan lotion that we seeked out on Isla yesterday just didn't get used at all today. Typical guys, right? We're like, hey, let's just go, we'll go on a boat, be fine. It wasn't even sunny, but we still got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mitch was like, it's windburn. I'm like, nah, it's definitely sunburn. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get stuck in, shall we? Goodbye, lush room. Before we left, we made a final pit stop at Bowmore Distillery. Little whiskey for breakfast. 25 year old Bowmore. Cheers. Decent. Got our first bit of rain, but never complain we got a whiskey. Right, we drove to the south of the island to jump on the ferry. We were like, lovely trip, round and up. And uh, got there, there was no cars, just me and Mitch. And uh, it turns out there's no ferries that side of the island today. So um, the last one left at like 10 in the morning and we were just in the distillery drinking whiskey. 
So, so yeah, no, don't look at the ferry timetable at 11 o'clock at night after five whiskeys. <laughs> that's what happens. Uh, lesson learned. So, so we've now, driven. Hey, now we're getting a good adventure though. Yeah, mate. So now we've had to drive all the way up to Port Escape, which is in the north. We're getting a boat over to Jura, then another car, then another boat back to the mainland, and then a taxi to Edinburgh. Have an adventure, mate. <laughs> Always an adventure with me, buddy. <laughs> Lucky we got friends in high places. Taxi onto the actual jetty, and now we're getting a catamaran back to the mainland. Pure luxury, mate. Hey, I'm glad you got the ferry times wrong, mate. <laughs> 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 Worth it for this. What a day! Mate, maybe it wasn't an accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. planned it. Another bonus for getting back this way was that we finally got to see the famous Paps of Jura. The day before, they were covered by clouds. Stunning. Back on the mainland, lovely little boat ride. I'm not sure what the, this place is called, to be honest. Uh, yeah, little minibus to Edinburgh. See what's cracking there. I bloody love Scotland. It's so good to be back. I want to live here. Okay. This is us. Not too shabby. Before we carry on with our video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, turning your ideas into reality. My idea would be to own my very own secondhand clothing store because I've just got so much stuff, it would be a dream to have an online shop. And that's, that's not even half of it. You know you can do that, right? Yeah, but I feel like it's going to be really expensive. Like I have no idea how to create a website myself. I'll probably just end up paying someone else to do it. Creating an online website and store with Squarespace couldn't be easier. You can customize everything to fit your style and needs. Just use the website builder to add photos and text. Target and communicate with your audience by sending personalized emails to your sign-up list. Let them know what's in store and when you have a sale on. Anyone can do this, even me. So when you're ready to start your business, head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash kinginit for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Morning lads. Woke up this morning in this beautiful little apartment, right in the heart of Edinburgh. Uh, I think it's the first night I haven't had a whiskey before bed, so I slept like a, a log. <laughs> uh, but Mitch has texted me, he's invited me out for a paddleboard today. So I'm gonna go out, get some breakfast, jump on a train to Mitch, and then he's gonna take me on another wee adventure. Made it to Abadawa. Looks beautiful here. Yeah? Cheers, train driver. Where's Mitch? Here he is. How's it going, mate? Hey, Look at that bad boy, is that mine? That's yours, mate. <laughs> It's like a big door. Absolutely jammed today. Surrounded by seals. One of them just popped underneath. There he is. <laughs> Craig's going on the on the crazy board. The board that I call the the 4x2 penetrator. Hey! <laughs> That's class. What a day for it. All done with my summer holiday in Abadawa. Thanks Mitch for taking me out mate, loved it. Now I'm going back to the city. About eight years ago, Amy, the little gem, took me to Edinburgh for my birthday. We had so much fun and it was instantly one of our favourite cities. It felt so good to be back. But as I was missing my partner in crime, I decided to get Amy a little present because she's been quite good lately. I always really struggle 
when buying something for Amy because she's got a proper wacky style but she's also quite fussy so but I know she loves Highland cows and I think I found the perfect present for her so I'm gonna go and get it now and surprise her when she picks me up at the airport Hi so Mitch see you soon mate Got a new missus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Drink drinks back. Hey. Did you, you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? You more first. Though? Did you miss me? I know you missed me. Didn't you missed me a lot, didn't you? <laughs> so, babe's got you a couple of presents. Oh, you got me presents. I got you a couple of presents, and they'll go perfect now with your little new rouge ensemble. Okay, ready. Is it close? Mm, kind of. Yes! <laughs> Great little tartan hat. Oh, I love it. You look proper Scottish now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... You know like the wigs they sell? That it, like comes built in with a hat. Yeah, I know them. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Oh! <laughs> what is it? Oh, the earmuffs. Oh, babes. They don't actually fit. Oh, what? That's how it would have to go. My ears by ear, though. Oh, they're like a kid's I ones. Like the kids. Oh. Oh. They actually, yeah. That's a shame. What? Surely you got a little pee head. No, they Take don't. Take that fit. hat off. They don't fit. We'll have to extend them for you. That's all right. I'll make them into like, like if I wear space buns, I'll just put them on top. Like I just cut it off and put it on top. Okay. Thank you, that's lovely. We've travelled all the way around Wales. We've seen so many amazing places. But my favourite place ever in Wales is Gary's Workshop! <laughs> it smells good. Sawdust and graft. It's just me today. Amy's feeling a bit rough. She's actually had a lot of anxiety um, recently. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Uh, a few changes and things but yeah Amy's had bad anxiety for the past day and a bit so she's having the morning off I'll catch up with her a bit later on but today me and Gary are gonna crack on with this new project I'm hoping we can make it happen but one of the most exciting things is we've finally got our new toilet so I'll show you that in a bit look who just keeps showing up just can't get rid of them we can't miss the grand opening of the compost toilet He's giving it away now. Oh, we can't miss the, <laughs> the grand opening of this exciting new secret thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of you recommended this. We've gone for a Simplu. Go on, what, what happened? This is a king and exclusive, you won't hear it anywhere else. It's definitely not it on once. our channel. I'll say it once and I'll never say it again. But our toilet was full and I had to poop in a plastic bag <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> And we actually, it was like it was so hot and we forgot about it. So it's just like laying there for like a whole day in the bathroom. So. I didn't forget about it, but I wasn't <laughs> going to touch it. Yeah, and I told Adam not to look. So. Tanya, Tanya hid it in the muesli bag. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> and that's how we threw it away. That is the behind the scenes of Jits into the sunset. <laughs> it's not all glamorous, folks. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, woo! Look, at, look that. at that! That is class. Proper throne. So I. As far as like installation goes, I think this is the only thing we need to add to it. So this is a carbon filter that you can get as an extra. This goes on the side of the toilet and I think you change it once a year. So that like takes the bad smell away from the uh, number twos. And then there's a separator, front bits for your pee, back bits for your poo. And you can just put it in the bin. Happy days. Let's do the separator. How's that work? So when you want a little slide that back and do your business. So hang on, you've got to target your poo in there and then what you pee, you and you pee down to there. If you have diarrhea, you split it between the two if you want. <laughs> <laughs> As we were recommended this compost toilet by so many of you, we decided that this was the one we needed to go with. And Simplu are offering 5% off your very own toilet when you use the discount code KINGINIT0721. Look at that. That's perfect. Yeah, it's like a dream. The next exciting feature to be installed on good old custard is a bike rack for our new electric bike. All right, moment of truth. Oh, 
That looks badass. He's chuffing it though. Is that you? No, bloody wasn't. <laughs> oh, stop it, quick, I need a nap. I'm gonna stay with his kids. Can you have a word with her, Gar? What's the matter? She's never, never ready for work. <laughs> You're late again, Amy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> First job of the day. Fix this. Hiya. Hello. We're very lucky that Gary's got a lot of friends because we always need bits and bobs. So we always just like sneak over and like, Lee, have you got this bit or that bit? But he's very good to us, isn't he? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll check that one. Is that what we're after? This is what we're after. Champion. So these will snap off when we do them up and uh, it'll help uh, for security on the bike. Brilliant. On the, uh, on, the, on the rack itself. Thank you, Lee. No problem. Take care. Bye. Oh, there she is. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of room back here. And the bars are a bit wonky. But, I uh, have a backpack on as well. So in there? Yeah. I don't know, I haven't turned it on yet. Oh. It'd be good if you put a battery on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Smooth, doesn't hurt my bum. It's actually nice and warm where the sun's been on it. This is a fabulous. Captain B's in the driver's seat. I feel really tall and really regal, Craig. <laughs> it makes you have a straight back. You're so, like, you're making it wonky on the back. Sit still. I am. So, I guess, worse before I guess better, yeah? Uh, something like that, yeah. Uh, we've opened a can of worms, um, uh -oh. so there's a big hole in the bus, and now we're trying to fabricate a new, a new piece to go in, to then fiberglass over that and then wrap it. So what was going to be like a 10 minute job, putting the rack on, it's now turned into a, a full blown mission. Do you body work now, do you go? That's what you did, you built coaches. Coach builder. Oh right, okay. So we got the perfect yeah, man for the builder, job. Not body builder, <laughs> body leader. <laughs> <laughs> Morning lads, back at Gary's again. This is the longest two weeks ever. Uh, so hope you're enjoying the ride. We're gonna hopefully finish the bus today. The bike rack, the filler, and she'll be ready to show off. Cause we're gonna do a van tour 3.0 so you can see all the upgrades we've done over the last year. Cause we haven't really shown you. So Captain B is out today doing some errands. She's getting some paint. She's taking a little paint chip and she's hoping to get a, someone to match it, so hopefully she comes back with the right green. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm on the body fella this morning. Wish me luck. Yeah, she is. What have you got? I feel like a drug mule today. Crossing borders. You look like one. Places. Like yeah, I've been out the car. A drug mule for ducks, for and ducks. then you hunt them. So, pop, pop. do you reckon that'll match? Let's hope so. Let's hope so. So we've got spray for the burst, we've got some black spray for the bike crack. Let's get done today, Craig, yeah? I mean, we'll, we'll have a go, right? Like. Look at me graft. I've grafted so hard, my ear's gone grey. <laughs> you want a green? I can do a green for you now. Look at that. Look how special that looks. 
Huh? Absolute top job, guy. And Craig, here are you. All right, lads, that is it for this two weeks worth of video. We didn't quite finish the bus. It was a bigger task than we thought. That's not far off, though. Yeah. A little bit more sprucing and then a bit of spray, good as new. You never would have known Amy reversed into a fence. Honest to God. <laughs> So for those of you who follow us on Instagram, you would have seen why we took last week off. Um, our friend Steve has had some bad news. Uh, he's found out that he's got cancer and they've told him that he's only got um, nine to 12 months to live. So for those of you who don't know Steve, he came into our lives because he reached out when we were doing custard build and saw a terrible job we were doing. And he said, I'll come and give you a hand. And we've just, we just clicked straight away. Yeah. He's just the loveliest guy ever. So Steve, if you're watching this, mate, we love you love with you. all our hearts. Um, and we're here for you if ever you need us. He's like super positive about it. He's gonna do everything he can to sort of try alternative things as well as chemotherapy. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to say a massive thanks to everybody who's donated to, yeah. to Steve's GoFundMe. Um, it means a lot to us and, and obviously Steve's just overwhelmed by the support of everybody. We'll leave the link below if you want to um, donate to Steve's GoFundMe because he's self-employed and he can't work through all of this. Um, so any yeah. little help will help for sure. There's also lots of people from the van life community just offering their help because Steve's got a van and now he, he won't be able to financially or physically finish the van himself. Yeah. So everybody's kind of chipping in. We've got a few solar panels for him. Um, there's a lot of people that are, have offered their, their work to go down and help finish it so if anybody's got a company or a business and they're willing to donate things like batteries or you know anything you would need for a van it would be so really much appreciated yeah um, also I'm not sure if you can tell but we're really close to hitting a hundred thousand subscribers which we never thought in our lifetime would ever happen we couldn't have done it without you guys so we want you to be in our next video a celebration for when we hit a hundred thousand subscribers so so if you want to get involved answer the following three little sentences keep them as short as you choose one of the three choose one keep them as short as you can like one word or just one sentence because i know we're going to have a lot and i'm so sorry we won't be able to pick everybody and if you can send them to the email below as well then you might feature in our 100k video so that is it lads thank you so much for watching if you're brand new press subscribe give this video a thumbs up as well because it helps the algorithms and all that we still need to get to 100k we're not quite there yet <laughs> you know uh, but yeah because the bus is looking very good now after craig battered on our welsh road trip um, but stay tuned to find out our next series, our next mission in the world. Where will it be? Answers down below where you think. We're doing it. We're ruling our own worlds and we always hope that you are too. But always remember in life, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.